Hi, I'm sitting here with Barbara Hodge, the uh, principal analyst and global digital content editor for the Shared Services and Outsourcing Network. Barbara, thank you so much for joining us. It's a, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for having me. So tell me, as the editor uh, uh, here, what is your take on, uh, what's your take on the show and, and automation, how automation fits in to, uh, to the group? You know, this event, uh, 10 years ago, this exhibition room was consultants, really, a okay. lot of consultants. Yeah. Um, now there are solution providers, and I think that tells you everything yeah you need to know about why automation is such a hot topic at the moment. That is such an interesting observation, and it's I, it didn't occur to me before, but yeah, that's you look around this room, and this is a busy, busy room. I mean, yeah. this is a tremendously popular event. We're having to shout at each other. Absolutely we are, absolutely, and we're not doing it on purpose. We're not doing it because we just like each other. So, but, but you look around this room, and it's, it is almost all solution providers and yeah. and that is yeah that's not something that would have been the case a while ago four years ago there were maybe a handful a dozen maybe different providers and you know i'm sure we're at 50 60 now so for the customer yeah. i think what they're looking for is a provider who can explain to them exactly what it is that you know how they're going to help them solve their problem yeah because part of the challenge that we have seen provide uh, practitioners run into is um seeing it as a software uh, tool, as an IT tool, instead of a business solution. And the key is really, it's a business solution. So you Absolutely. need to have those business conversations. Absolutely. And this type of automation, the reason it's not IT transformation, the way, what we've been doing for the past 40 years, the reason that this is different is because this is a discipline, it's a practice that you get into to, to get an automation first mindset, yeah. to establish the best practices within your organization to, yeah. to, to, to identify processes, build out solutions, and then operate those yeah. in a real-time basis. Someone this morning um, on the plenary stage made the point, do you remember when Excel was a skill? As opposed to <laughs> Excel is a language, yeah. which yeah. we all yeah. know. Right. And you know, I wouldn't be surprised if automation at some stage internally, I think in the ideal world, yeah everyone in a company would be familiar with automation and that's they'd all be able to say to their manager you know this thing I do I think we could rethink it we could automate it maybe re-engineer it so you need innovative mindsets you need people who can see whether a process makes sense as it is and that's from the the you know right at the ground upwards so yeah. it's we're talking about cultural change yeah that's very very yeah. insightful point well, Barbara, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate the time. It's a pleasure. And it's, uh, this has been a wonderful show, so thank, thank you. you so much. Lovely to chat. Likewise.